Oh, we're gonna start with adding the crushed coral sand and I wanted to show you a trick I usually use not to cloud up the water too much and <laughs> I totally did it wrong with this one and I had so much fun so I kept it in the material because doing a video how to do something and do it completely wrong so I made it worse on purpose at the end as you can see <laughs> you gotta be able to laugh at yourself but this trick works guys um, I did it the next day in another aquarium and then I kept the bottle uh, really close to the substrate and I really let the sand um, come out on its own if you will really close to the substrate then it works but not like I did it here in a hurry <laughs> so 100% water change and I wanted to do this video since I don't have any other video where I show you everything I do up until the finished product and I'm not sure I'm gonna do it again because it took a lot of time even this voiceover thing to get good quality I had to do it on my phone and then attach it to the video in a different program and that take, took a lot of work enough about that I'm not complaining it was fun I'm learning but <laughs> so I wanted to add a piece a couple of pieces of driftwood to continue the flow and yeah also a small piece of microsorum just put a piece of driftwood on top of it on the substrate level not beneath and it will attach itself to the driftwood I also have a video about attaching moss to wood and stone. I'll leave a link at, up top if you haven't seen that one. You see how I want the flow to be, stay the same to the left? Like waves or the stream is coming from the right? I think I succeeded pretty good. Small cryptocorn parv I wanted to save from another tank. I will end up moving it, so don't mind that one. Well, I like this cape. I think I succeeded with doing the same thing again. So now we're just gonna fill the tank up again. And of course, do some more things. Otherwise, the video would be ending here, right? No, I have more stuff for you guys. Mm -mm -mm, I wish it went that fast in real life filling up and draining aquariums right pom pom so crystal clear again and I like this cape now I usually say it looks natural. I don't know if it looks natural, but I like it a lot. The colors, the deep green. It looks good, at least. A lot of hiding spaces for the guppies. Here we have them. 50 adult guppies. Not a single fry. And I really like these guppies. I wanted to start breeding them because the, the portion of the body between the body of the tail, if you will, is really thick on the males. I hate it when I see fancy guppies that have that 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 have a part that's really thin, right in front of the tail, because um, they're gonna have problems keeping the big tail up. That's just weird, giving them such a big tails and then a small piece of muscle before the tails right so if I see any of that I'm gonna remove them but now they look super good strong why don't you look for that if you're gonna start breeding them because if they are super thin or super weak they're gonna get weaker and weaker when you breed them not being careful yeah I was pointing to that part because I'm gonna 
uh, I bought something. That's why the video didn't came out three days after, which I hoped it could. It came out today at least. But I had to wait for the plants. So. Yeah. Imagine 250 guppies in here. All the plants are going to look better then. I can explain why later. Yep, yep. Tissue culture plants. Love them. No algae, no pests. And when you buy stem plants, for me, of course, they are not twice as expensive, but almost. But you only need to get one instead of getting like two and a half. So it's not that expensive as it is. It isn't as expensive as it seems, at least in my opinion. And you get no algae and no snails, no planaria. So, I like that. Just planting it. You s you've seen that plant, the red one, with my rainbows. It's the same plant. I can leave the names in the description if you can't catch them in the video. And this plant, I had before as well in really old videos in uh, in my beta sorority tank really long time ago so fish lovers this is the final look or it's not the final look because these red plants are gonna grow to bite about four to five inches tall maybe six inches in the long run and that area doesn't look big but it's the size of my hand and it's gonna be dense with red plants and it's gonna look great against the, these uh, deep green colors of the Anubias and that crazy plant I had before that grows fast you can just trim off uh, when it grows tall just trim it off and put it down on the sides and trim off put it down on the sides trim off and put it down on the sides and pretty much two months with this good lighting it's gonna be like this cover this whole area because I want to hide the fact that the 3D background doesn't go all the way there so and add another green color and 50 adult guppies are gonna turn into 250 in a couple of months it's gonna go pretty fast I'm gonna try to eat the young when they are when you have this many in a tank but actually we already got the first fry in this tank see one over there one two three right next to the background if female guppies won't go Oh, now you can see them better. So, I seen a couple over there as well. Yep. And all the plants are gonna look a lot better because when you have a lot of guppies in an aquascape, it's perfect for the plants actually. They constantly swim around and breed and when they're breeding they're breeding out CO2 so the plants love guppies they work great together and this cool aquascape is gonna be perfect for the fry to hide until they are big enough to swim away from the hungry females so tell me what you think guys I should have waited a little bit so it looked even better if I waited, but I said a few days. So I hope you enjoyed the video, put in a lot of work for this one. Hopefully it's noticeable. <laughs> Thanks for watching.